Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rocha here, and I am with my San Francisco 49ers and New York Jets review video. And in this game, the 49ers come on, come away with their first victory of the year. They won it 31-13. Without some consequences, we'll talk about that here in a second. But overall, as a team, the San Francisco 49ers look great. I was so happy about their performance, man. They went into New York and did what they needed to do, and that's get a dominating victory and performance. The run game was amazing. Both quarterbacks in this game were really were pretty solid. Jimmy G is better than Mullins, but love what I saw. Defense took some hits, but the defense like really, really solid. So Jimmy G, before he went out of the second half, 14-16, 131 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Mullins, who came in in the second half, uh, 8 of 11, 71 for a pick. I really love Jimmy G's performance in this game. He suffered a high ankle sprain. News came out this morning that it is not as bad as expected. He could start Saturday. I doubt they do that, but he most likely will be back for the Eagles game uh, a week from uh, Sunday. I said Saturday. I meant to say Sunday. Nick Mullins, I'm more than comfortable with him coming in to the same stadium next week. Getting a win against the Giants. He was all right. Uh, he had some really great throws. He had one bad throw. Went through the hands of McKinnon for an interception. But um, I'm more than confident for him to do anything. Raheem Moser, first play of the game. An 80-yard touchdown one. He had an 8 for 92 in a touchdown. He suffered a mild MCL sprain. He should probably be back for that Eagles game as well. Jarek McKinnon converted a third and 31 with a 50-yard rush, he had three for 77 and a touchdown. Tevin Coleman, yeah, 14, 14 carries for 12 yards. He's going to be out multiple weeks. Um, yeah, so that's the running. 182 yards in total on the ground. Uh, offensive line gave up three sacks. They need to work on that a little bit, but otherwise not too bad. Receiving rise, Kendrick Bourne had some clutch catches. He uh, dropped a long pass from Mullins. But then uh, made up for it in the next play. <clears throat> he had four for 67. Jordan Reed, seven receptions, 50 yards, two touchdowns. He was amazing in this game. I believe George Kittle most likely will not play again Sunday. They shouldn't with this turf. He is a perfect fill in for uh, George Kittle. Jordan Reed, solid, really great man. Brandon Ayuk, his debut, two receptions, 21 yards. Nothing special. He made a couple good plays. Uh, nothing really else in the air too much. Mohamed Sanu, not a single catch. I don't even know if he got a single target. As for the uh, Jets, Sam Dono, 21-32. 179, they had a late garbage time touchdown. Akela Rutherspoon, talking about him when it comes to the defense, gave that up. Uh, 49ers only had one sack. But on the ground, Frank Gore, 21 carries, 63 yards. It's only a three average, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's talk about the 49ers defense. Uh, Chris Hogan, 6 for 75 and uh, no touchdowns. Braxton Brio, 6 for 59 and a 49 and a touchdown. So we talked about the offense. The 49ers defense lost Nick Bosa, lost Solomon Thomas, unfortunately, for the year. They still play well. 49ers are not going to get the sacks they did last year, but they still generate a lot of pressure on the quarterback. They're probably going to lead the league in quarterback pressures, but not sacks. Losing Nick Bosa hurts a lot. That's going to really affect the 49ers defensive line. But losing Solomon Thomas does suck. 49ers have already agreed on a one-year deal with Ziggy Ansah. So he's going to help out. They'll eventually get back um, Ronald Blair and Julian Taylor. So that's going to help out. Defense played really great. Both sides of the ball played like they should have this game. I feel more than confident with this team going forward, even with the losses. Over the next five weeks, we'll be getting Kittle, Debo, Sherman, Blair, uh, Jimmy, all back. 49ers will be good. So, 49er fans, don't freak out. We're getting our leader back probably next week. We're going to get our top tight end and our top running back probably the next week as well. So, 49er fans, let's relax. This team's going to be great. Still going to be a great team. Yes, the defensive line is not going to get as much numbers as they did last year. But we're going to be all right. Let's talk about Akela Rutherspoon. He was up and down all uh, game long. 
Um, hopefully, you know, he picks it up. It was his first start, so I, I can understand that. Let's talk about Eric Armstead. He's the only one that got a sack in the game. He was amazing. Generated a lot of pressures. Got to the quarterback once. Deflected a pass. Let's talk about Hyder once again. He didn't record a sack, but damn, this dude was in that backfield. Along with JV and Kinlaw, a couple good run stops. DJ Jones as well. Fred Warner led the team in tackles. He is an elite linebacker. Uh, Dre Greenlaw got hurt during the game, but he looked, uh, there's nothing new with him, so he's good to go. Linebacking core played really well. Defensive line did what they needed to do. Secondary had great plays, had bad plays. K1 Williams had a great day. Jimmy Ward had a great day. So overall, great performance by the 49ers. Great job marching in New York, taking care of the business for the first team. 49ers, Giants, next Sunday. I will be live for that game. Uh, Nick Mullins, in my opinion, most likely will be starting. I'm cool with that. But uh, overall, as a performance, very happy. Looking forward to Jordan Reed if he's starting again next week. Seeing Rutherspoon get more comfortable starting again. Armstead, see if he can, you know, get some momentum going now. And uh, debut for Ziggy Anson, most likely. The 49ers took care of business here in this game. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments on the injuries on the game below. Make sure you all hit that like and sub button. And as always, we got 49er coverage on this channel all season long. So if you're new, hit that sub button and turn the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for this video. And uh, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Shout out to Frank Gore. It was fun facing him. But, uh, yeah, 49ers going to be getting healthy over the next few days, for a few weeks. All right, guys, until next time, your boy Rocha signing out and great performance by the 49ers. Now it's time to handle business once again against the New York Giants this Sunday. All right, peace out, guys.